All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing one of my very own fragrances that I designed and, uh, and created and bottled. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you my, kind of my honest thoughts about it. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna be giving some shameless plugs for, uh, for my own fragrance. This is called Tennis Club Eau de Toilette. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's see what, whether it's appropriate for, what the vibe of the fragrance is, what the notes are and everything. So yeah, I thought this would be a fun video to do. Uh, I promised you guys I would do a breakdown, a review of all of my four fragrances that I have out right now for my own brand, uh, Vita Bella Perfumes. So if you guys aren't familiar with me, I'm Sebastian Gobanks. Uh, I'm a perfumer, been doing perfumery for uh, many years now. Um, so, you know, it's always kind of been a dream of mine to be able to sell my own fragrances. And recently I just announced for y'all on the channel uh, that I'm actually selling them. So yeah, I'll throw links in the description as always, uh, if you're interested in checking it out. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into it, okay? So this is one of the other summer fragrances. I just filmed a, uh, a review of the other one, which is called um, Oasis. Uh, this one is called Tennis Club. It's an eau de toilette. This is a 50 mil in the can. Um, and yeah, so you can pick this up on my website. Uh, I'm not gonna be selling it through Etsy or any other providers right now. So it'll just be straight through the website uh, if you wanna check that out. So this is how it's gonna come. Uh, it's a black, nice black canister here, almost like when you buy kind of the Jean-Paul Gaultier kind of fragrances, they, they come in uh, a tubular container instead of a square one. And then, yeah, of course, so you guys can pick this up for around, I believe it would be around $65 if you use my uh, discount code, subscriber. Uh, I'm not checking if you're actually subscribed, but I trust you on that, so if you want to Hit that subscribe button, really helps the channel out. Uh, but anyway, yeah, make sure to use that, that, that code at checkout so that I give you guys a little extra something for, uh, for being subscribers this whole time. So yeah, so let's pop it open, okay? It's gonna come with a little, uh, little sticker there, so we'll just give it a twist and then pop it open here. And here is the container inside. So as you can see, the juice has just an ever so slight green tinge to it, uh, a green blue kind of aquatic look to it, uh, which I think looks really nice. I'm just using FDNC uh, Safe Green. Um, very, very little amount, so don't worry if you have a white shirt or something, it will, it will never you know, uh, get any color on it, of course. As always, magnetic cap, right? We always uh, care about presentation here on the channel, so if I'm gonna make you guys some good juice, there better be a, a good presentation as well. And then on the front, it will say Vita Bella Tennis Club Eau de Toilette right there. So yeah, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the atomizer and we'll talk about the notes here, okay? Um, so the notes of this fragrance are, I don't even know why I'm bothering reading this out, uh, bergamot, lemon sifumatrice, uh, which just means it's kind of this ancient technique of how they were doing it in Italy. Uh, they were using the rinds on these kind of terracotta slabs, uh, the rinds of the, the, the lemon, and they were expressing the lemon peels uh, and then it would drain out and they would use natural sponges to soak it up. Anyway, it's this really old technique now, of course, they've mechanized it, but it creates what we, you know, perfumers regard as one of the purest and like best lemon uh, scents uh, as far as lemon essential oils go. So that is a natural that I'm using. Bergamot, I'm using also the natural, but it's Bergamot Jivco so that it's hypoallergenic. It, it removes the bergamot. Uh, there's, there's a major allergen in real bergamot. Um, it's actually kind of a problem. But anyway, so I'm using the, the safe one, uh, lemon sifumatrice sifu and freshly cut grass. Uh, so yeah, so you'll really smell that freshly cut grass if you, uh, if you give it a spray. The middle notes are rosemary, aquaflora, and jasmine. Uh, so aquaflora is a great material to use that kind of gives it a floral boost, but it also has this beautiful aquatic uh, power to it. it. It pushes your fragrance into this sort of aquatic vibe. Um, so base notes are cedarwood and ambroxan. Pretty straight and forward and, uh, and simple base notes there. So yeah, the main things that you're gonna be smelling after we give it a spray, Great atomizer. I really am happy with the atomizers that I was given. So yeah, so I, you know, I had to go through all the factory reps and find the bottles that I wanted to use, find the sprayers, and I can smell it from here. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with the uh, the presentation that I decided on 
immediately on initial spray it has good performance i would say moderate to strong it's not beast mode by any means by any means but it is moderate to strong it's on the stronger side of moderate as far as projection goes and we immediately get hit with that rosemary and the lemon there's some bergamot in there but remember bergamot kind of just gives a, a general citrusy smell to it it's extremely fresh. This is perfect for summer. You wouldn't want to try to wear this in fall or winter. It's just not, uh, it doesn't have the warmth to it or the sweetness to it. This is more fresh, citrusy, uh, uh, aromatic. Think uh, Aqua de Gio. It doesn't smell anything like Aqua de Gio, but that sort of a, a niche of where you gotta smell it, you know, where you could, when you could wear it, you know. This is definitely a spring summer fragrance. You get hit with the rosemary, for sure. I'm using real rosemary essential oil. So in my opinion, good uh, niche perfumery, you should be using some naturals and some synthetics. You can't use all of one, you know, you can't use all naturals because it's gonna smell like, we call it hippie juice, uh, because it smells like the stuff that you smell at like the, the Saturday markets, you know, where it's all, all the hippies with their, with their soaps and stuff. Um, but at the same time, you don't want it to be all synthetics mostly synthetic sure uh, but you don't want it to be all synthetics because then it can become kind of a, a harsh you know uh, smell to it so i think it's a very well blended mix of naturals and synthetics the aqua flora coming through that fresh lemon sufumatrice it really hits you especially in the beginning Let's talk about performance. So, uh, yeah, so as far as longevity goes, I would say this is moderate longevity. This is not super long lasting because it's mostly top heavy. Uh, so it might even be on slightly, slightly below moderate uh, on that, that kind of side of, of things. Um, yeah, it's much more summery, it's much more top heavy, so this isn't gonna be a super long lasting like vanilla bomb type fragrance where it just sticks around forever. I would say longevity is about four to six hours, so about average. And then yeah, projection, slightly above average, but really nothing crazy. I'm not gonna toot my own horn too much on these because I really wanna be honest with you guys about uh, how this smell is and how everything is. Oh, man, great fragrance. So the, obviously I love it. I've made hundreds of fragrances and so I chose the best four uh, to sell to you guys, at least at first. Um, so really like it. You really get that Embroxen pushing through because I kind of overdosed the Embroxen. I used a little more than most people would, like um, almost to Sauvage levels of Embroxen. So you, you, you don't get whacked with it um, because there's all these other strong performing uh, ingredients, at least at first. But as it dries down, you definitely get more of the cedar and you get more of the Embroxen. So this fragrance would be great for daytime use. Uh, this is a great casual wear, but you could also kind of dress up. It's a little more fancy. Uh, if you're trying to go on like a date night or something and you want to smell fresh, you don't want to be too cloying, uh, then I would go for this one. This is definitely the freshest of all four fragrances that I offer, uh, closely followed by Oasis, of course, but Oasis does have that sweet banana, the solar notes, kind of that sunscreeny vibe to it. So it's a little bit more gentle, a little bit more sweet. Uh, it's still fresh, but not as fresh as this one. This one smells like some sort of a, like a, like a glass of lemonade, a lavender lemonade or something like that, where you just toss a sprig of rosemary in there smells like something you would drink at a tennis club so yeah really love this fragrance uh the freshly cut grass i think was was a cool addition to it i used hexanol 3 cis which is a real leaf alcohol that is found in freshly cut grass so you'll literally have a tinge of that doesn't smell too much like it so don't worry it still smells like a real fragrance but you'll get a hit of it and you'll go oh there you go there it is that's fresh yeah check it out uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, what I would recommend to you guys is I would check out the sample kit that I have. Uh, and the sample kit, I, I went over it in the last video, but really what, what that was is everybody was suggesting some sort of a way that they could smell it first and then decide which one they wanted. So the way that it works is you order the sample kit, it's gonna be $85, so for you guys maybe 72, something like that, 70 bucks, uh, with the subscriber discount of course. Um, so those four, it'll send you all four. 
then you get to smell them all. You choose which one you like and just make sure at checkout you, you leave that button clicked where it says like uh, email me with offers and whatever because it'll be an offer email. Uh, a special one-time generated code will come to you. You just use that and it will give you 100% off of one fragrance of your choice. So whichever one you like the best, that's the one that you'll pick. So yeah, so uh, check it out. Obviously, I'm gonna throw links in the description to uh, this fragrance as well as to my website in general if you wanna uh, go check it out. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.